All right, what is going on, everybody? Today we are here with the announcement, the, uh, well, my breakdown of the announcement of the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Gen 4 Remakes. The response to this game is a little bit mixed. Uh, it, it looks, you know, this is like the in-battle. I don't think I can show the video because I think it'll get copyrighted, but you can sort of see in the background here, like, what it looks like, and, uh, if you scroll down here, see, okay, this art right here, to me, looks like a Smash character's, like, art. Like, you know like, how the Smash characters have, like, really... HDR on the the preview screen or whatever that's what this looks like to me so this is lit the art right here is fantastic um but there are mixed responses on like the can I open this I can't oh but that close my page lit um there's like mixed responses on the like this though the way the overworld looks the chibi style I personally think it looks fine can I, can I open this bigger or not I cannot I think it looks great. I think it's I, I thought very cute, fits the game very well. I think it is uh it's literally just like, you know, an HD enhanced remastered version of the original Diamond and Pearl so far, right? They called them remakes, they refer to them as remakes, so there is likely stuff we haven't seen yet. There's no way they would just, you know, throw everything out there immediately and now we're just expecting default Diamond and Pearl but remade for the rest of next year, right? I'm not gonna get my hopes too high, but there is always a chance that we could uh, maybe get some different stuff in there, like maybe, maybe Mega Evolution, maybe uh, some sort of like fusion thing, because there was... Right there, the statue. The statue right here. Right here. This is literally a fusion of Dialga and Palkia, because that's just how it looked in Platinum, I'm pretty sure. Or how it was supposed to look, but you couldn't really see, because it was like all pixels and stuff. But the statue is a combination of Dialga and Palkia, so we could get something like that. Probably not, but you never know. So another thing right here is this is obviously like this is Dawn in Snowpoint City. So there's clearly not a Pokemon following her. However, I think you can turn that option off. So I have not given up my hope of potential Pokemon following returning in these games. But at the same time, it's hard to say because this game is, I believe, made by a different development company. I forget the name of it, but it's different than Game Freak. So there's a chance for a lot of differences. You never know what can happen. Um, although I think Jinichi Masuda was involved in some way. And okay, okay, so right here it says whether you play Diamond and Pearl back in the day or you're encountering these games for the first time, there is something for everyone to enjoy. Probably reading too much into it, but you never know. They could have new features, could have new stuff. Obviously, nostalgia is going to be a big deal in this game. Like, it's going to be so nostalgic, so, like, insane to uh, to be able to go back to these games in HD. I'm Gen 4 is my favorite generation. Platinum is my favorite game. I saw so many people complaining though that um they announced diamond and pearl remakes but not pokemon platinum remakes it was literally trending on twitter like like literally why <laughs> when have they ever remade the third game why are people complaining about that but i do sort of understand people's gripes with the graphics it is obviously very different than sword and shield it does seem like a step back sort of but also i think it fits the games better and like the graphics are good the art style is just different right the graphics are fine but the art style is very like it's very faithful, is what they call it. They refer to it as faithful right here. Faithfully reproduced. Wait, the original story has been faithful. Oh. Oh, okay. So the story likely will not be any different. However, I'm hoping we still have the distortion world. I'd be very disappointed if we don't. But it does say the story has been reproduced. So maybe it'll not have any differences. But I'm still hoping for potentially mega evolution or something like that. But, oh, by the way. Uh, before I continue, this like, this art right here of like the Turtle Beach Chimchar and Piplup, and uh, the same art right here with these uh, Dialg and Palkia, and oh yeah, they're right here as well. Um, I really hope this official art like style gets reproduced for every Pokemon because it looks so lit, it looks so clean. Um, it does not say anything. Oh, we'll get into this one in a minute. This is this is the next topic. I'm excited about this one too. Uh, but the one thing I did note. Uh, or do like no notice about this is they, they have not revealed box art yet which i'm assuming they could have just overlooked it could have just not done it could just not have it ready yet however however if we do remember omega ruby alpha sapphire they revealed the box art before revealing what primals were and the, the, the you saw these this kyogre this ground on you know so potentially if these do have changes we will know if the box art gets released. If we ever see the box art, we'll know. But for now, we have nothing on these, uh, any changes to this Pokemon. Now, getting into the, uh, the next game. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Or Arceus, as they said, but I say Arceus, screw you. Anyway, learn more. Where does this bring me to? Oh, this is a nice page. I like this. Okay. Available early 2022. I am perfectly okay with that release date. I think it's early enough. Uh, I hope they have plenty of 
screenshots on here because I don't want to play the video. Why is it not loading any images? There we go. Let's go, gamers. Um, probably a lot of people on the site. Uh, honors past Pokemon games' core gameplay while infusing a new action RPG element. You'll need to catch survey and research while survey. And, like, in research. So you can, like, maybe, like, watch them do their natural thing or something to, to fill them into the Pokedex. Because I did hear that this game is you, uh, trying to fill the Pokedex. Like, or make the first Pokedex or whatever in the Sinnoh region. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it says it right here. Uh, to create and complete the region's first Pokedex. So, these characters are obviously very reminiscent of, uh, Lucas and Dawn. I, I think the male character's name is Lucas. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure. I love this design so much. And I really... I don't know if I'm going to play the male or the female in this game. Probably the male character is who I'm leaning towards right now. But we'll get, we're going to see. Um, one thing that has been pointed out pretty heavily is this logo on their arm is the Galactic logo. It looks... It's the same shape as Galactic. And apparently the kanji or something translates to Galactic in English. So... Team Galactic, to some extent, will be involved. Maybe, maybe Cyrus is like world or whatever something. I have no idea, but I guess we're gonna be able to figure that out when we get the games actually come out next year. Uh, to catch Pokemon in the Pokemon Legends Arceus game, you can, you can observe them to learn their behavior and then carefully sneak up, aim your Pokeball, and let it fly. So you can just yeet. So you can like, I'm assuming you're gonna have like a hot bar because it says you throw the Pokeball holding the ally Pokemon. So like, you can have like a hot bar of Pokemon. You go to the one you want to throw and you yeet, maybe. Seamlessly enter battle and come, okay. Oh, wow, okay. I really, I'm not going to lie. I would not mind if uh, this was the format for Pokemon games going forward. Obviously, we have not played this game yet. We don't know how it actually plays, how well it is, how good it is, whatever. But if the actual Pokemon games play like this in the future and look like this in the future, I'm not against it. I can't pull the images up too big because whenever I like, view image, it's all tiny still. So the the big thing here is that it's still the Sinnoh region, right? So we're getting basically two Sinnoh remakes in the span of the next year, roughly, give or take, whenever this comes out next year. Um, but I'm I'm excited about that. I really enjoy Sinnoh. It's my favorite region. It's my favorite generation is Belgian Four, and it says here all around you'll find Pokemon living in wild and harsh wait living wild and harsh environments to make it for a Sinnoh unlike the region you may remember from the days of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. So it will be a very different region, right? I'm assuming it'll still be semi-similar, like, uh, like, uh, where is it? I saw it in here somewhere. Like, Mount Coronet could be seen at some point. Right here, right here, Mount Coronet in the background right here. Um, so you can see, like, the, there, it's still Sinnoh at the end of the day, but there will be differences, there's gonna be different Pokemon. This dude over here is talking to God over here. Um, another big thing is the new Pokeball, which looks like a lunchbox. <laughs> Has a little, like, lock on it. Like, like I don't know if that's going to be the, the most uh, secure thing in the world, but it'll work. Um, built a little bit differently. So they still work. They're just different designs. I would love if you could, like, transfer these Pokeballs to the main... Like, well, this game, I don't know if it counts as main series. So, like, I feel like it's about just as main series as Let's Go is main series, you know? But I would love if you could transfer, like, this, this Pokeball to the main... Like, the actual, like, Sword and Shield or whatever. That'd be super lit. Um, your first partner Pokemon, the starters, right? The starters are Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott, which is obviously like Bow, Mage, and uh, Sword. However, I do think Fennekin would fit this slot better, but I'm okay with Cyndaquil because if you could... Okay, right here, right here is where it is. As you can see, Cyndaquil's 3D model has fire. We are saved. It is no longer naked it no longer is missing all the fire which was really really awkward and really really whack but hey it looks good now these models do look semi rough around the edges like the eyes are a little bit wonky and stuff but that either will get smoothed out by the time the game releases or i won't care enough because <laughs> i'm gonna be honest the game looks phenomenal anyway there's so many people complaining that, oh it looks worse than breath of the wild like, breath of the wild was trending on twitter because people were saying this game looks so much worse than it who cares bro this is pokemon this is the best pokemon's ever looked relax Calm down. The battles are really cool too, but I still don't think I can show those because like, 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 like people can react to it, right? Because they have their face on there. It's, it, there's, they're reacting to it. I'm not doing that. So I don't know if I'd be able to show it. So I'm not going to risk my channel for that. <laughs> but uh, the battles are really cool. This is the UI right here. It looks sort of similar to, I guess, Sun and Moon because they had this like little paint effect thing in Sun and Moon, I'm pretty sure. Like a very similar uh, esque thing. Obviously, it's going to focus around Arceus. It's going to be called, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. My hope is that we get future ones like this as well. Say, Pokemon Legends Curum. 
for the original dragon with, uh, with, with Gen 5 dragons, you know? Or Pokemon Legends Eternatus, and you could have the original uh, Galar region with the Darkest Day and the, 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 the G-Max Toxtricity running everywhere and stuff. That could be super cool, but that will probably all depend on how well this game sells, if I'm being honest, because, like, if the game doesn't sell well, they're probably not going to remake it, because why would they bother? But uh, I am very hopeful for the future of these games. Overall, I think Sinnoh fans have a lot to be excited for. I'm really excited for both Brilliant Diamond and uh, Shining Shining Pearl, was it? Right there, yep. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And I'm also really excited for Pokemon Legends as well next year, so... I think it's about to be a late year. I think so. Uh, like I said before, Gen 4 is my favorite generation. It's, it's actually, like, toppest of tier for me. Um, so I'm excited for it, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm very curious as to everyone else's opinions, because I know when it comes to a Pokemon announcement, when it comes to any gaming announcement, there will be negativity. People will hate on it for no reason. People are like, oh, this looks like garbage. This just looks so bad. Bro, how dare you look like, oh, wow, could you look at that tree. Look how, wow, that tree looks dead. Are you bad, bro? Are you stupid? Wow, look at this Piplup. Absolutely no shadow at all on it. Wow, crazy. Oh, no, look at the water. The water looks slightly lower resolution. It's like, okay, bro, relax, calm down, it's okay, it, it, it'll get better, you'll be okay, you will not, it will not hurt you, okay? But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping we get some more stuff for the Gen 4 remakes, I'm hoping we get some more, uh, information, some more features, some more stuff confirmed, because obviously they're not gonna just throw everything out there day one, but, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for now, I'm gonna call this video there, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Later.